Hello besties, today we're going to be doing the 3D handled donut tumbler. I am absolutely obsessed. Um, we will be using the travel mug by Steel Magnolias. I love this little mug. It is so cute. Love the shape. And it comes with a screw top, which of course you need that when you are drinking some hot coffee. So we're going to start off by sanding. You really just need to sand the handle, but I'm just going to go ahead and sand it all since I'm already here. Just a little light sanding, so don't go crazy. Just a little bit, just so we make sure that our clay has something to adhere to. After we're done sanding, I always like to use alcohol and a coffee filter just to clean off any of that debris. Okay guys, now for the fun part, I'm going to be using polymer clay. This is the clay that you have to bake in order for it to cure hard. You can also use the air dry clay and or the poxy sculpt. But today, um, this is my clay of choice. So we're going to start off by just taking off a big piece chunk right here. We're going to make the handle. So just massage it in your hands. It is important to do this because it softens up the clay a little bit and makes it easier to work with and mold it to your liking. Guys, something that I wanted to point out is that me and Jess make sure that we use things that everybody has so our besties don't have to buy special tools. So as you see here, I'm using my two hands and my fingers to kind of just mold it in here. I know a lot of you guys don't make 3D um, tumbler art so we don't want you guys spending a bazillion dollars buying all the stuff if you're not going to like it. So just work your little magic here, flatten it out with your fingers, make it look like a nice scrumptious donut. So after you um, kind of mold your donut how you want it, you want to take some alcohol just to the tip of your finger and rub the clay. This way you can make some of those little nail impressions disappear or um, fingerprints or lumps or bumps. So once you have it ready exactly how you want it, it is time to bake it. Make sure you follow the instructions on your clay of choice. Um, I baked it here for about 12 minutes at 275 and it's nice and hard and ready to go. I know this goes without saying, but make sure your cup is nice and cool after you're done baking it. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and work on the icing. So as you see, I took a big old chunk of our clay here. And again, we're going to massage it, work it in, play with it a little bit, get it nice and warm and moldable. Okay, besties, this is a great example of using what you have. Obviously, I don't have a fancy acrylic rolling pin, but I do have this little PVC pipe that works amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and flatten this out. We wanna make a big piece to cover our donut. This is going to be the icing. So make sure it's nice and thin, thin enough where you can drape it over your donut without uh, it ripping. So just gently, um, flatten it out until you get that right size okay after you have flattened out your icing here you want to go ahead and drape it over your donut decide if you want it to go on both sides or just one side of your handle as you can see here I want my icing to be seen from both sides of my tumbler so go ahead and work it around your tumbler here I'm using an exacto knife to kind of create little icing ridges um, so just take your time. This is a tricky part. As you see, it's wanting to kind of peel off and come off my donut. Something that you can use to make your life easier is liquid Sculpty, which is a liquid clay kind of used as an adhesive in these kind of projects. But I did not have any at hand, so I was gonna work with what I had.
After you have your icing just right, just how you want it, go ahead and grab some alcohol again on your finger and just kind of rub off any imperfections. Go ahead and bake it again to the instructions in your um, clay. And then after it cools down, you're ready to start painting. Now we're gonna mix some acrylic paints. So we wanna make sure our donut is not overbaked or underbaked. So mix up some colors. I use cinnamon latte and a little bit of white acrylic paint to get the right color. So what's your favorite icing flavor? For me, it's chocolate, but I love the look of pink frosting and I just wanted it to be a cute little, almost kind of Valentine vibes. So I went with a nice um, pastel pink. So now I'm gonna use, oh my gosh, look how cute it looks. I love it. Anyway, now we're gonna use Prime Time by CCDIY. It is a primer um, that you can use indoors, which is great right now during the cold months, even though I live in Louisiana and it's like 85 degrees today. Um, but it's great to use indoors so you don't have to go outside and spray paint. And obviously it would be hard to spray paint with our handle already being completed. So anyway, let's go ahead and prime this cup. Make sure to do big long strokes, make sure there's no lumps or streaks or bumps or anything like that because you don't want it to show under your glitter. It's glitter time. I am going to be using Spectrum Opal, which is one of my favorite opals from Backfist Customs. I am applying some Mod Podge all over my tumbler. Yes, my video is sped up, but I am still working super fast because you guys already know Mod Podge waits for nobody to dry. So it is drying as I'm applying, so I'm going pretty fast. As you can see, once I apply my glitter, some spots um, dried up before I can get to them, but it's okay. We're going to do a second coat and then we're going to do some spot glittering just to kind of make sure that we get that full coverage of glitter. Now that we're done glittering our cup, we're gonna go ahead, oh, <laughs> made a mess. Gonna go ahead and embellish our little donut. I'm gonna be using conversation hearts because it's almost Valentine's and why not? I got these from Glitter Heart Company, but a lot of companies carry them right now. I'm using Mod Podge and tweezers to apply my little conversation hearts. The same goes for the sprinkles. We're gonna apply them with Mod Podge and some tweezers. You can definitely just sprinkle them on wet epoxy, but you know your bestie is extra AF, so I wanna make sure all my little sprinkles in the right colors are in the right spaces. So now that we've spray sealed and it's dried, we're ready to epoxy it. As you can see here, my 
tumbler is not turning. I am doing the handle first really well, making sure I get all those little crevices and get around all that little clay art to make sure everything in here is good. Now we're gonna go around our tumbler and apply our epoxy. The next step is completely optional. We're gonna be using Unicorn Party by Sparkle Cafe. It's a really beautiful unicorn color mix. And I'm just gonna be sprinkling it just to kind of give it an extra colorful burst. Now that it's been epoxied once, we're gonna go ahead and sand it lightly. Just avoid your donut. It only has one coat of epoxy, so you don't wanna scrape off any color or any of your clay designs. We're gonna go ahead and clean our rims as well and all our edges. After that, I clean it with a coffee filter and water. Now to decal our beautiful cup. We're gonna be using the wax paper method, one of my favorite methods for layering decals. As you see, I cut out an offset for my quote. The pink is the offset and the white is the top layer. So as you see, I tape my offset to my table and then I'm using the transfer tape to pick up my top layer. So here I am just kind of rubbing the, rubbing the transfer tape. We're gonna go ahead and peel that off and then we're gonna lay it over our wax paper, making sure that we ex expose a piece of the stickiness of our transfer tape. You're gonna see right here how I leave a, actually a big piece, <laughs> but this makes it so easy to line up your offset. It's perfect every time and you don't have to fight with it. So after you find exactly where you want it, go ahead and tape that to your table and then lift it up and remove your wax paper, and then you're gonna lay it back down and it should line up perfectly. I hope this is very helpful. I use this method all the time. After our decal is exactly where we want it, we're gonna go ahead and epoxy it at least two more times, sanding between each layer, making sure that all our um, edges are nice and smooth. Okay, besties, she is done and she's looking like a whole snack, literally. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that it inspired you to make your own donut handle cup. If we have inspired you, make sure to hashtag MMBestiesX so everybody knows that you were inspired by Jerry and Jess at Misfit Makers. See you guys next week.